Oh, this one's from Bruce the Llama. <gasps> oh, let me see. What's that silly little llama up to that. now? Wait, 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 wait. Bruce is real? Oh my gosh. Vera, duh. Do you know anything about anything? Look, he's out there hiking somewhere. <gasps> he yeah, sure well, loves llama. adventure. Michael, get the album so we can put it in with the others. I'm already oh, on it, so Gabby. Here's the album? Oh. Hello? Hey, Gabby, are you guys still planning on meeting us for lunch today? Oh, yeah, sorry. We got a postcard from Bruce and totally lost track of time. We'll head out now. No problem. We're about to park, so we'll get the table and order an appetizer and wait for you guys. Oh, my God. Kelly, look. Whoa, what's going on? Is everything okay? No, everything is not okay. Guys, Taco Johnny's is completely shut down. Oh, that's okay. We'll just have lunch there tomorrow. Yeah. No, Gabby, you don't understand. It's a total construction zone. It has signs everywhere and it's saying work in progress. It looks like it's shut down for good. What? We just found that place. Well, Kelly and I need to find something to eat before we go back to work. Yeah. I guess we'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh, I'm still hungry. Ooh. That sandwich I got was soggy, so I threw away half of it. Ugh, I know, my wrap was disgusting. Disgusting, and I'm never going to that place again. I can't work on an empty stomach. <laughs> Me either. Oh no, Kelly, Melissa, what's wrong? Are you guys sick? We're hungry, Chris! But didn't you guys just come back from lunch break? Yeah, but the food that we got was so gross because we didn't go to our favorite restaurant, Taco Johnny's, because it shut down. No, not Taco Johnny's. <laughs> I love that place. Us too, but it's closed forever. <laughs> what kind of monster would do such a thing? <laughs> hey everyone, you're looking at the new owner of the taco shop down the street. Uh, uh, Mr. Torres, you shut down Taco Johnny's? Yes, I did. I actually bought it and closed it down, and it's about to become one of my next great businesses. Actually, I should call the construction crew and see what's going on. Oh, what a monster. <laughs> Guys, what do you get when you combine an R, a chair, and an E? Hmm. R, chair, E. R, chair, E. <gasps> Archery! Oh, never mind, guys. I got it. Ooh, how you about a box, about? a music no, note, and a microphone? There. Hmm. Of course! Box, sing. Boxing! Vera! Oh, that was tricky. What are you talking about? Oh, I'm playing this emoji game. Do you guys want to play with me? I mean, you're basically saying everything out loud, so we might as well play. All right, let's play. Let's do it.
Guys, 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 guys. We have a situation. Yeah, we do. What are you guys doing here? You should be at work right now. Uh, yeah. We cannot work under the current conditions. It turns out that the theater owner is also a restaurant closing monster. Uh, pass me those Cheetos, I'm starving. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, she's hangry. Okay, Melissa, eat a Cheeto. Go to your happy place. Kelly, what happened? Well, you guys see, Mr. Torres, we found out that he's the one that actually bought the restaurant uh -huh. and is now shutting it down. Uh -huh. What? Are you sure? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. He told me so himself. Okay, he did. Wait a minute, guys. Him and I are practically BFFs, so I can just talk it over with him on a round of golf. It's gonna be <laughs> no, fine. No, 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 no. He's the enemy now. It is mm -hmm. too late for that. Yep. As we speak, our precious restaurant is being torn apart brick by brick. We need to take action. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. I agree. What kind of action are we taking? Like, like moderate, severe, light. What are we doing here? I was, what is um, that? I like it. I was thinking that we're not gonna go to work. And let's see how he runs his precious theater without us. Okay. So hungry. Enjoy your movie. Chris, Chris, are you working this counter all by yourself? Where's the staff? Um, I'm sure they'll be here momentarily. I will not tolerate lazy workers, Chris. I'm gonna have to call in Mikey Boy and see if he can come and help out. Thank you, Mr. Torres. Now, I gotta get back to the construction site and check out on the progress. Guys, that's Mr. Torres again! I feel so bad for not answering. Michael, please. Mm -hmm. That's nothing compared to what we were gonna do. Right, Kelly? That's yeah. true. And besides, we're not as bad as he is. Yep. I mean, who rolls into town yeah. and buys restaurants right. and then shuts them down? That's who so that? true. Who does who that? Does Yep. I don't know. But what are we gonna do in the meantime? Mm. Oh, easy. We're gonna go and get something to eat because I'm super hungry. I'm sorry, <laughs> Melissa. Something to eat? You just finished an entire bowl of Cheetos. The girl uh, can eat. Yeah, and uh, now I need the protein side to balance <laughs> it all out. Wow, Melissa. But seriously, I think we can find a new favorite restaurant. Yeah. yeah. Like one that has a table just for us whenever yep. we want it. Yep. Oh. And that we can play Kerplunk at. Ooh, yes. that's true. And I also, they serve us delicious tacos, you know, like the best in the yeah. world. Okay. Mm -hmm. There might be yeah. one right around the corner. Yeah. Really? You know what? Yeah. Guys, that actually oh. sounds like a perfect idea. That should be easy to find. It should. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's found go. one right Let's now. Go. Let's go check this one out. Melissa, whoa, whoa, seriously? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. We are leaving. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes. Tacos, Wait. here we come. Wait for yes, me. <laughs> I cannot believe that the first place would not let us play Kerplunk. No. Yeah, or that the second place wouldn't let us reserve the table for whenever we wanted to stop by. The audacity. How rude. Okay, the first or the second place did not compare to the third place. That food was straight up disgusting. Mm -hmm. I, gotta, I gotta use the bathroom. That's oh, that's TMI. Oh, it's oh. making me think I think about it. No, please. Thank you. Enjoy your movie. <sighs> Kiss me again. I don't know why you guys aren't answering my calls, but I'm getting a little worried. Um, if you guys could just call me back or maybe do your job, come in and help me. Things are getting a little out of hand. I need help. <laughs> Bye. Guys, Chris just sent us a voice message. Kiss me again. Oh. I don't know why you guys aren't answering my calls, but I'm getting a little worried. Um, if you guys could just call me back or maybe do your job, come in and help me. Things are getting a little out of hand. I need help. Oh Bye. I really didn't think about how this would affect Chris. I know. I kind of feel really bad. Oh, okay. But on the bright side, we're still not as bad as Mr. Torres. Oh man, guys, we can't do that. We can't use what others have done wrong and look down on them just to make us feel better about what we did. That we all mess up, but that's why we all need forgiveness. That's true, yeah, that's true. I think it's time we go to the Bible, guys. Oh, good one, okay. vibe check. This is Jesus. hey -o. Who is the son of God and the savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, 
He taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. There were a group of Jewish leaders called the Pharisees who heard Jesus speak often. One of the Pharisees, named Simon, asked Jesus to have dinner with him. Come on over. Oh, okay. Sounds good. So Jesus went over to his house, and a certain sinful woman heard that he was eating there. She went to the house and brought a jar filled with expensive perfume. She kneeled at Jesus' feet and cried. Her tears fell on his feet, and she wiped them with her hair. She kissed his feet and put the perfume on them. Simon saw this and said to himself, Yeah, if this man really were a prophet, he'd know what kind of woman is touching him. She's a sinner. Blah. Then Jesus said, Simon, I have something to say to you. Ah, uh, okay. And he told him this story. A man loaned money to two people, 500 pieces of silver to one, Thank you. and 50 pieces to the other. Yeah, thanks. Oh, hello again. But neither of them could repay him. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. So he kindly forgave them both. Eh, that's okay. Canceling their debts. Who do you suppose loved him more after that? Simon said that the one who owed him more loved him more. Jesus said, Yep. That's right. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Look at this woman kneeling here. When I entered your home, you didn't offer me water or wash the dust off my feet, but she has washed them with her tears and wiped them with her hair. I tell you, her sins, and there are many, have been forgiven, so she has shown me much love. But a person who is forgiven little shows only little love. Then Jesus said to the woman, Your sins are forgiven. The men at the table said among themselves, who is this man that he goes around forgiving sins? And Jesus said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. So the difference between Simon and the woman is that the woman knew that she needed Jesus' forgiveness. Yeah, that's true. But Simon needed forgiveness, he just didn't realize it. Right, you know, and sometimes we can do that. When we see others doing wrong things, we can think that we're better than them just because we didn't do what they did. That's, that's true. That's what Simon thought. Yeah. But the truth is, whether it's shutting down a restaurant or skipping out on work, everyone needs forgiveness. That's mm. true. Yep. Yeah, and honestly, when we experience forgiveness, it should lead us to love Jesus more like it did for the woman. That's yeah. true. Well, what are we waiting for? We need to ask Chris for forgiveness. Yeah, we do. We we'll do. see you guys later. Bye. Okay. Chris, we're here. Oh, we're here. We made it. Oh, well, thank goodness. Where have you been all day? Uh, well... We kind of got mad at Mr. Torres, yeah. and so we decided to go on strike. And then we realized that you were going to be all alone, yeah. so we're so sorry. So, so sorry. I should be furious. I really should be. But I forgive you. Really? Just like that? I, I mean, you don't need us to tell you a Bible story on forgiveness because we totally know one, so. Nah, not necessary. Everyone makes mistakes, and we all need forgiveness. Wow. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Chris. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, do you need us to do anything to make yeah. it up to you? I, I yes. Can... Actually, no, I got this. Actually, I need you guys to go speak to Mr. Torres and apologize. Oh, but do we have to? Uh, yes. He's at the restaurant. Take that. <sighs> Take that as a yes. I'm just looking at this and it's it's all wrong. This is supposed to go that way. What, what are we doing? We gotta get to work. 
I understand, Mr. Torres. I'll get right on it. Uh, but I do need to talk to you about the roof. The roof? What's wrong with the roof now? Come with me, sir. What's what's going on with the roof? Um, Kelly, I don't think we're supposed to be here. I uh, don't have a hard hat. We'll be fine. All right, Mr. Torres. Well. Mr. Torres. Well, if it isn't the work skippers, I can't believe you girls left Chris all alone at the theater. I know, and I'm so sorry about that. We just apologized to Chris, and we're here to apologize to you, too. And I'm sorry, that behavior was just unforgivable. Uh, our behavior was unforgivable? Unforgivable. Your behavior was unforgivable. My behavior? Yeah, you, you bought our favorite restaurant and you just shut it down? Who does that? Whoa, 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 let's all just calm down. Look, the truth is, neither one of our actions were honestly that good but neither one was unforgivable. Let's not forget what we learned today. And what exactly was that? That everyone needs forgiveness. Well, I guess I suppose that's true. I'll forgive you ladies, but it cannot happen again. Okay, fair. And we will forgive you for taking our beloved, wonderful taco restaurant and just shutting it down forever for no reason. Forever? What do you mean forever? The restaurant repairs should be done in one week. What? Wait, did you just say restaurant repairs? Like, uh, you're not shutting it down completely? What, what on earth? What do you mean shutting it down? Why would I shut down such an amazing place? I just closed it for remodeling. I actually asked Chris to bring you guys along so you can work in your favorite restaurant for as long as you want. Uh, oh. oh, yay. Thanks. Do you have a hard time waking up early? Have you ever just wanted to come to church in your PJs? Well, now you can! On the weekend of March 12th, we will be having a pajama jam. Your friends and small group leaders will be wearing their PJs, so make sure you join in on the fun! Hey, CF Kids, if you love God and you want everyone to know it, then maybe it's time to get baptized. We have a baptism class happening this month, and you don't want to miss it. See your small group's leader for more information or have your parents sign you up at cfmiami.org slash baptism.